I'm up all night to get lucky. Okay, now uh, back to our regular programming. Um, do all Asians look alike? Yes. And no. Are East Asians guilty of asking the same question? Yes. And no. Can East Asians tell themselves apart? No. And yes. I understand. With the untrained eye, you can't tell East Asians apart. But it's disrespectful to constantly bunch Asians, East Asians, together without any attempt to learn about their diverse cultures. But it's also disrespectful to bunch people of European descent together and people of African descent together. Uh, we are not the same, at least attempt to learn. Asians with the untrained eye are also guilty of this as well even among their Asian race. Yes, it's difficult for Chinese, Japanese, and Koreans to tell themselves apart. It's difficult, not impossible, but it is still difficult for them. Fortunately, my fellow humans, there is an actual term for this cognitive problem. It's called cross-race effect. According to Wikipedia, Cross-race effect, sometimes called cross-race bias or other race bias, is the tendency for people of one race to have difficulty recognizing and processing faces and facial expressions of members of race or ethnic group other than their own. It went on to say, uh, quote, deeper study of the cross-race effect has also demonstrated two types of processing for the recognition of faces, featural and holistic. It has been found that holistic processing, which occurs beyond individual parts of the face, is more commonly used in same race situations, but there is an experience effect which means that as a person gains more experience with those of race, he or she will begin to use more holistic processing. Featural processing is much more commonly used regarding an unfamiliar stimulus or face." Unquote. Wow, cross-race effect affects a lot of people. So yes, I began using holistic processing uh, when I lived in Jeju Island. It was uh, a weird experience. <laughs> Through Chinese and Japanese tourism in Korea, I got to experience the differences. Body language, mannerisms, uh, obviously language, uh, group dynamics. It was a difficult, weird experience because of the lack of physical variations. We normally associate East Asians with their eyes, their thin black hair, their uh, BMI, their body mass index. So in this regard, absolutely no. Asians do not look alike. Uh, but here's the tricky part to this question. You also look alike in the untrained eyes of Koreans, of Japanese, of Chinese. Uh, in fact, you also look alike uh, within your own race. <laughs> in the future, when I do travel to the African continent, I will have to go through the same exact experience that I went through in Korea, in Asia. When I went to Osaka, Japan, I saw the differences among the Japanese in comparison to Koreans. Now, as for Africans, I couldn't and still can't really tell Africans apart, unless they're from drastically different countries. I'm sorry, but Eritreans and Ethiopians look alike to me. My eyes aren't trained. But uh, someone from Senegal looks completely different from a Sudanese. My eyes essentially is trained and untrained. Humans are simply guilty of this. It isn't always the majority in a specific society that's using this as a tool to bunch all the minorities together, okay? That's not always the case. Why? because minorities do it to each other. <laughs> the untrained eye will make cognitive facial recognition errors because of the lack of interaction with specific racial groups. Let's not even talk about cultural and national self-identity. I've seen black Hispanics, you know, Dominicans who look just like me, who can only speak Spanish. I've seen European uh, pale white Hispanics uh, I've seen Chinese, Jamaicans, and so forth and so on. One random Korean guy one day was like, uh, Hi, uh, uh, cool, cool. Do, do you know Little Wayne? Yeah. And I was like, yes, yes, I know him. I don't look like Lil Wayne. <laughs> you need to stop. 
In my three years in Korea, every time there's a black male in the background of my PowerPoint presentations, there's always one or a few Korean students who always scream, Obama, Obama. And that's okay, but dude, that's that's Will Smith. And that guy is Dave Chappelle. Uh, the, no, no, that's not Obama. <laughs> to the untrained eye in South Korea, all white people are Americans. Unfortunately, that's the grand narrative in South Korea. And it makes my fellow Canadians, uh, Brits, South Africans, Kiwis, Aussies, Irish, and any other white native English speaker quite upset. Unless something bad happens, just blame it on the Americans. Or vice versa, if an American does something wrong, he's Canadian, I know your secret. And to be frank, whites are just as racially and ethnically mixed as blacks, Hispanics, and Arabs. So this fact alone makes things quite difficult for your average Korean. Even the Arab and Middle Eastern identity is hard to define. Also, a lot of Koreans couldn't fathom whites not being able to speak English. In fact, there's a lot of people in America who can't fathom that either. But do remember that there are 230 languages in Europe. <laughs> but that fact isn't presented and day-to-day -day life, so it just doesn't sink in. In the Western world, people can't escape the China syndrome. Uh, remember, there are over 2,000 languages in Asia spoken by three and a half billion people. Now, a segment of the Asian population, especially Korean population, do reinforce the all Asian look-alike stereotype. There, all, there will always be a segment of a population that reinforces certain stereotypes. It's, it's just gonna happen. Some would argue that the one-dimensional beauty standard in Korea is perpetuating this stereotype. Uh, overly skinny, pale skin, etc., etc. But mixed reactions are prevalent in Korea. Uh, some really harsh. <laughs> Recently, viral images of 20 Korean women who are contestants for the 2013 Miss Korea beauty pageant in Daegu stirred online debate. The prevalence of plastic surgery in South Korea came into question once again. Photoshop and deceiving makeup all sparked misogynistic comments and comments defending the women. Uh, Pre-makeup versus post-makeup, rejections toward the standard of beauty, everything came into light. It obviously perpetuated the all-Asian look-alike stereotype. Contradictions emerged as well. Quote, she is ugly, she shouldn't run for Miss Korea, and your she is fake, she shouldn't run. All of these things sparked debate, much needed debate, and unfortunate debate. <laughs> All in all, just be aware of different cultures, their standard of beauty, and uh, and your faults. Um, that, that's a better way to understand different cultures. <laughs> Always ask, never assume. So, unless you train your eyes, all Asians will look alike. But just remember, so will you. <laughs> all right, until then, one love, peace, and be free. Mwah. My jam.